Here is a paragon. It's someone who is peerless, has no equal, so good at what they do. Barry Bonds, for a while, and probably on steroids, was a paragon of home run hitting in the early 2000s. Ricky Henderson, no steroids. Paragon of base stealing, far and away the best base stealer ever. Paramount. Paramount is predominant. And in a way, a paragon, if they're a good model, would be paramount at what they do. Next, parasitic. Parasitic means kind of leeching off of you. A leech literally sticks on to another creature and sucks nutrients, blood, and other good things out of it. They're moochers. So a parasite could be your future college roommate. If you don't have good enough relations, that person might be parasitic of your stuff. Be careful. Next, parity, P-A-R-I-T-Y, it means equality, evenness. To use another sports analogy, the NFL likes parity in the strength of teams. They don't want to have a 16 and 0 team and an 0 and 16 team. They like when they get close, so they they make certain rules like high draft picks go to the worst teams to make them better and create more evenness, more parity. Next is parody, P A R O D Y sounds almost the same. It is Mocking. Um, some plays are parodies. Some sitcoms are parodies of other real life stuff. Finally, parochial. Parochial means narrow, as opposed to something that's all widespread. And you might hear the term parochial regarding schools that teach religion. And they're not destined to teach everything, but they narrow things down and call themselves parochial schools. I'd be bound.